Good morning, everyone. I got up so early this morning and I thought, oh, I, I got to put in a video today. And I'm almost missing the time again. <laughs> I suddenly got busy talking to a friend of mine in Korea. Well, anyway. <laughs> and then what? And then... <coughs> <coughs> yes, I got a cold. Uh, oh, no, no, no. It's all COVID now. Really? Is the cold, cold still around or is it all just COVID now? I have a cold. <coughs> <coughs> and so did everybody else here. <coughs> but I'm at the tail end. And we had a, the, the storm has done all kinds of damage all over the place. Not here. Not here and not on the farm. At the farm, they were without power for a couple of days. I have a nephew-in-law that uh, my sister-in-law's son-in-law, they also live not on the farm, but close enough by. And he uh, works for a company and he walked for miles and miles and miles trying to find, yes, the lines down in the mountains and stuff. So we got to cook a nice meal for him while we were there. But my whole family, all of my children, myself, uh, son-in-laws, this, that, we all went to the farm and we winterized it so that my sister-in-law would have right, a smooth sailing into the winter. And it was needed. <laughs> <coughs> but that's what we do around here. Oh, I gotta orient myself here. So we've been busy, we've been gone all weekend, and uh, oh. I felt a bit like a physical wreck, but happy, uh, yes, after we were all done on our way home, and uh, gosh, got so much work done, ugh, unbelievable, so amazing, yes, I could tell you, <laughs> uh, this morning I stepped outside, and pretty warm still actually or rather I really enjoy the cool and uh, I look up and it was about four, 3 30 4 o'clock and I look up and there's this one part and I've got to remember I'm not on the farm here anymore the farm we don't have an outside light that comes on oh good there is one but it does only comes on if you go far far enough out actually to the parking lot. And but otherwise we don't have one of those street lamps that yeah everybody could get there, can get there, but I didn't want one. Why would I do that? Well anyway, so that's gonna cost more money. And uh so you can see the stars at the farm. It's, it's amazing. When it's a clear night, and uh, here there's just too much light, right? With all the houses, and again, it's lights everywhere, and even at night. And but this morning I went out and I look up, and it was weird. There was just one part of the sky that you could see every star. And I recognized several constellations, you know, as they are known. And, uh, and I'm looking up and I'm going, what, isn't that something? I haven't seen any stars here, really, when it comes down to it. And uh, I'm looking up and I'm going, oh, wow, what, how beautiful is that? And, and, and I'm going, I think Heavenly Parents trying to remind me to continue with the Bible videos now. <coughs> 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 and, and I love them again. How is he reminding me, huh? By, oh, something bad happening because I haven't been doing it. Or this gentle just, look, I'm making this possible for you to see the stars. So you remembered it. <laughs> yes, all right, all right. Anyway, 
whole bunch of really wonderful things happened in the last few days. And someone shared the reason that we can't experience gone. And it's all again, the reasons to me are I think most likely, I'm not saying it is as it is, or you know, most likely people are just looking for an experience with God, experiencing God's love in all the wrong places, right? And believe me, it is us, mankind, who's ignorant when it comes to that. God's not waiting for us to make a connection. The connection... <coughs> <coughs> pardon me, tail end of that cough, is already there. Right? Heavenly parents always already there, right in front of us. What if I not would not have looked up this morning into the sky or didn't get up early enough to see what I needed? Huh? Who would have, who, who, who would have missed it? Huh? Heavenly parent, God, my father in heaven, he had it all in place. It was for me to see it and then be reminded of something that he very much likes me to do. <laughs> All right, so let's get going because my daughter is actually going to come here pretty soon. Ready with the little one. <coughs> <coughs> yes, lots of coughing going go on in this one. You might as well turn it off now if that bothers you because it is as it is. That is as it is. Okay, we are in the book of Job. God's justice is above all law. Okay, then. Nine. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just read. I know. Job spoke next. He said, Oh, yeah. So, another Bildad of Shua, his friend, had spoken up before. He said, Indeed, I know it is as you say. How could anyone claim to be upright before God? Anyone trying to argue matters with him? could not give him one answer in a thousand. Among the wisest and the hardiest, who then can successfully defy him? Why would you want to defy God? Huh? Guess if you don't like the rules... He moves the mountains, though they do not know it. He throws them down when he's angry. He shakes the earth and moves it from its place, making all its pillars tremble. Well, they didn't know science at the time, so so I don't know. I guess every, every little thing, right? <laughs> what I talk about, oh, look, the stars. I get to see the stars. They're so beautiful, and they were there was just... just perfect array of stars up there just one spot you know one section i looked farther over i'm going i hardly can see them over there but this is just as perfect just as clear as i guess and i i know how the stars move and this and that it's just that was pretty amazing and so it was meant to be there anyway. But who gave clarity to it this morning? Yes. I just said. And here, I guess at the time when things started to shake, anything was an omen or a, a good one or a bad omen or something at that time. They didn't know anything about science and how the earth worked and the universe and all that jazz, right? Yes. So i got to take that under consideration here. But again, he throws them down when he's angry. Where did they get that? And I wonder if they, that is now something I have to say. Did, did they actually really have 
any kind of evidence of that? Or was it just used because, well, it was convenient rather than looking at oneself. I said, we're doing all this to ourselves. Yeah. Anyway. Well, the sun at his command forbears to rise. <laughs> okay. And on the stars he sets a seal. He and no other has stretched out the heavens and trampled on the back of the sea. He has made the bear and Orion. Oh my gosh, we're talking about the stars. That's exactly who I saw up there. The, be the bear and Orion. Wait a minute. The big bear. How would they know about the stars like that? Ooh, Job. Yeah, right. The Pleiades and mansions of the south. The works he does are great and unfathomable. See, does it? Okay, he has made the bear and Orion. Maybe something that meant, meant something else here. But Orion, Orion's belt. Okay, Orion. Maybe they mean something else. To me, it, all right, okay, okay. I don't know. Did I just find something else here? That's kind of weird. All right. The works he does are great and unfathomable. And his marvels cannot be counted. If he passes me, I do not see him. Aha. Uh -huh. What did I talk about? He slips by imperceptible to me. Ah, probably more likely just stands there watching going, you can't see me really. If he snatches his prey, who is going to stop him? Or dare to ask, what are you doing? God does not renounce his anger. Beneath him, Rahab's minions still lie prostrate. Ah, oh, jeez. Who wants to believe in a God like that? And here am I, proposing to defend myself and select my arguments against him. Even if I am upright, what point is there in answering him? I can only plead for mercy with my judge. And if he deigned to answer my citation, I cannot believe he would listen to what I said. Okay. Oh, he's really in the dumps, isn't he? It's hard to talk to anyone who's depressed. They, they just want to be depressed, really, when it comes down to it. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know what that really is, so I can't really say. But people uh, who are depressed seem to just want to stay that way. He who crushes me for one hair, who for no reason wounds and wounds again, not even letting me regain my breath. With so much bitterness he fills me. Shall I try force? Look how strong he is. Or go to court, but who will summon him? If I prove myself upright, his mouth may condemn me. Even if I am innocent, he may pronounce me perverse. But am I innocent? I am no longer sure, and life itself I despise. Aha! It is all one, and hence I boldly say, he destroys innocent and guilty alike. When a sudden deadly scourge descends, he laughs at the plight of the innocent. When a country falls into the power of the wicked, he veils the faces of its judges. Or if not, he, who else? My days pass more swiftly than a runner. They flee away with never a glimpse of happiness. They skim past like a reed canoe. canoe. Huh. Like an eagle swooping on its prey. Yeah, I find this interesting. Uh, it seems as if, huh, every, according to the story, Whatever just has befallen Job, right? Yes. Now suddenly all the pretense from before on how he was this upright man and loved God and all that jazz, suddenly it's all falling away. And yes, isn't that interesting? Like it happens to a lot of people, right? That suddenly the fear of God, the fear of God, right, falls away and you suddenly have the courage to call God out over all the stuff, this, that, that you've wondered all your life anyway? Huh? Well, 
So, do you truly believe in a father in heaven, a heavenly parent, and the one God? Do you? No, just asking. This is very interesting. Ooh, starting to have fun with this. Well, anyway, let's see. Job, poor Job. He's really going through it. Let's have some compassion here. If I decide to stifle my complaining, change countenance, and wear a smiling face, uh, which he probably has done fear before, fear seizes me at the thought of all my woes. <laughs> For I know you do not regard me as innocent. And if I have done wrong, why should I put myself to useless trouble? Oh, on top of that, he worries a whole lot about what other people think about him suddenly now, too. Uh -uh. Well, no one likes to be misunderstood. You know, I, I, I know how that feels. Huh? It kind of irks you. Why would I have to? Gosh, don't people know me well enough? You have to talk like this about someone else. Or do you have to, you know, just say certain things to me or this or that that I just find disrespectful and unnecessary and untrue and and then I think what does it matter do I <laughs> I know myself well enough right that's a real waste of time to worry about what others think of you I can tell you that right now it's a big waste of time again it comes down to it again my father in heaven my heavenly parent knows me best huh? and if he knows me best i have nothing to worry about huh? all right worry about hmm. it's said through the divine principle that well again with true love comes true sorrow but with restoration, to try to restore certain things in your family also comes indemnity. Well, someone has to carry that indemnity. Otherwise, it'll just fall on the shoulders of your descendants, right? That's kind of how it works. So if, if that means that I'll have to go through some, hey, why do you judge me like that? <laughs> why do I deserve that? If I have to go through that and someone else doesn't in my family, then I'll happily carry that on my shoulders. I got a very thick skin when it comes to a lot of things. So, And it's one of those things, you know, if you truly love your enemies, okay, per se. Right? If you can love the people, just judge you like that or this or that, and just look at them and say, man, I gotta really, really love you because you're in much worse shoes than I'm standing in, right? Yes? Then um, it doesn't have the same effect anymore, anyway. Right? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, this is all about, uh, gosh, don't take things so to heart all the time. Just love, 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 love. It does, it is, it is what it is. Mm -mm -mm. And if I have done wrong, why should I put myself to useless trouble? If I wash myself in melted snow, clean my hands with soda. Soda? Baking soda? <laughs> they had soda at the time? I wish this was actually written down as it should be written down. I don't think people are all that dumb. Huh? Right? Well, otherwise, I've had to go look up many words. I'm going, well, that's an old word. I'm going to go find out what that actually means. Right? All right, all right. Then if this is my fourth language. You will only plunge me into the dung till my clothes themselves recoil from me. Oh, really? <laughs> <coughs> A masterpiece of what now? <clears throat> that's a, that's actually funny. Till my clothes themselves recoil from me. For he's not human like me. Impossible for me to answer him. Or appear alongside him in court. There's no arbiter between us. To lay his hand on both. To stay his rod from me. Or keep away his daunting terrors. 
Nonetheless, unafraid of him, I shall speak, since I do not see myself like that at all. Oh, now he's unafraid of him. I'm assuming he's unafraid of God? Oh, that's an interesting one. Was well, too bad that whoever wrote this down and actually did give an account a little of their own life, rather, and then just used Job as a what? Stand-in? <laughs> uh, it's too bad that it is set up like this, because that would have been really interesting if that person would have given more on why this... Nah. I bet the Book of Job would make a great study book for psychiatrists. Don't you think? I think so. All right, you guys, this was nine. I have to get ready. I'd like to say a little more, but... I don't know if there's much more to say. It's, uh, I guess there are just certain areas here that... Don't that I don't have the knowledge to, or the rather the. This goes into a genre of emotions and state of being that I have never experienced, and I have to be honest about that. I just haven't. Uh, I've been around. I grew up with. Uh, uh, I've never seen that in my dad, but my mom was definitely depressed. Um, a lot. Not a lot. But, and, uh, I have, uh, and I've been around other people growing up who've seen, I've seen depressed and in really bad shape and stuff because of that. But I never understood that. Especially in the country that I grew up and on how people are able to live there. Uh, I didn't understand. And we were relatively poor, considering growing up in Switzerland. Everybody thinks people in Switzerland are all rich. <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> we were relatively poor, but I had everything. I cannot, I, there was, there's a thing that I could complain about. I had, I had all my favorite foods. Do you know why that was? That's the food I grew up with. I had all of my favorite foods. They're still all my favorite foods. And I've experienced a lot of good food now. Otherwise, yes, my mom was an exceptional cook with what she had to cook with. And um, I had all the clothes I needed. I had always. I always had, had a warm bed. Clean, warm bed. Shoes, no problem there either. Coats, hats, mittens. I got to do lots of extra things like going skiing and ice skating. I had to choose. I couldn't do both. I had to choose one or the other. I think my mom was happy when I chose ice skating for a long time because it was a lot cheaper. <laughs> Uh, not lessons or anything like that. Jeez, are you guys serious? <laughs> we learned everything that we did ourselves. <coughs> I did get to uh, learn to play the guitar. My mom was able to get a guitar. I wanted to learn the piano. I didn't want to learn the guitar. But the piano was not an option. So... She found the guitar. She says, you can learn this instrument. So I went. Again, it was a free lesson to, to that someone just did as a group lesson or something. I think it was free. And I went a few times. And, yeah, I'd never really picked it up. That wasn't the instrument I wanted to play. <laughs> Let's see. A flute. I played the flute for a while. Well, those little recorders didn't cost much, you know. Uh, let's see. What else did I do? I loved arts and craft. Already then. So my mom would buy me a kit every so often. 
Uh, which wasn't really my thing. I liked collecting things and then doing stuff with it. Oh, and of course I read. No, 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 no. Nobody bought me books. Are you kidding me? We had a library. Several of them. Books were free there. Just go get them, read them, bring them back. Uh, yes, yeah, all right. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Interestingly enough, even with my migraines as a kid, growing older, I didn't get depressed. I don't know what that is. I have no idea why people get depressed. I could get, see getting... I can see people in countries where you can't feed your children and have to watch them die on the side of the road or something, or whatever. Or where war is going on, this and that, and you're going, what the heck? Why, you people haven't grown up yet? Why all them thousands of years? Huh? Can't get along? You still have to go blow things up, idiots. And then, uh, the casualties of war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I could see, you know, in places like that, or how about places you can't have your freedom of religion? Okay, freedom of religion doesn't mean you go and blow up people either, okay? I'm just saying. But anywho, yeah, I could see people getting depressed there. Can't read the Bible openly or something. I could see, I could see people getting depressed there. But people don't live like that. What the heck you getting depressed for? Hmm? Why well, waste of time? Well, anyway. So, I think that subconsciously, probably. Uh, anyway. Subconsciously, I'm thinking that people get attacked spiritually. Huh? Again, not because, oh, of this or that. I, I think it's just, again, how strong are you? And how are you going to look at these attacks? So you can feel sorry for yourself, this, that. I know that sounds crude. I'm just saying, tough love. Don't think that I don't feel for people like that. But the thing most likely is, is that spirits are just trying to get through. Through, and most likely, uh, uh, ancestors, this, that. And um, and if one were just go, hey, wait a minute, what do I have to be depressed about? So something else is going on. Say a prayer for these spirits. Say you need to leave. Either you 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 stick around and you learn a little something about life, and love, right? That you may not have experienced while you were on Earth. Right? Let's do that together. You're, right? or you need to leave. Right? And uh, spirits always choose the fir the first, not the latter. And, uh, and then they can grow some, huh? yes, through your love and care, and eventually they'll move on. Huh? Yeah. Well, that's, that's how it works. And uh, one, I guess, has to grab that right at the onset of, huh? yeah. Well, so wh where's the proof in that pudding? A schizophrenia, for example? Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> Uh, things are sometimes more real than, than not when it comes to that, right? Yes? Okay. Anywho, so, I think anxieties and phobias, phobias. I think phobias is a made-up thing. I don't believe in phobias. Well, what about peace? Well, you can have a fear of something. That uh, I think if as soon as you give permission to the fear, right? Yes, then it becomes a phobia. Okay. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, so, uh, can it not be overcome? Well, let me ask you this. If your child stands in front of a snake that's, you know, so poisonous that it'll definitely t kill your kid, would you, and you have a chance to kill the snake... Or at least chew it away with it. Would you not? Just because you got a phobia of snakes, you're going to let your kid die? Just asking. All right. Anywho. Okay. Wow. Where did all this come from? Yeah. Job. 
So uh, that'd be interesting to see what psychiatrists were to do with all this. <coughs> <coughs> Anywho, we got things to do out there, people. <coughs> Not much for lamenting. And, uh, oh yeah, prayers, of course, to all that were hit by the storm, yes. I have a brother-in-law and his wife that got hit pretty bad. Uh, I'm not sure if their home was damaged or anything, but there's no water, there's no electricity, they're from North Carolina, but they have family, so they could pack up their little dogs and themselves, get in the car, come on up here, right, and stay with family here until... Ta-da! <laughs> what a wonderful thing. So... Others weren't so lucky. <clears throat> Quite a few people lost their lives. And um, um, then I came across some things where, where, once again, there isn't enough money around to help storm wick victims. Huh? Really? Wow. That's amazing. That's just amazing. Amazes me. Yes? Yeah. Well, let's make sure that... Huh? The uh, election for the president is going to chew up all that money, huh? Yes, instead of it being available when things like this happen, which they just will, okay? There's no control over that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw one where, oh, did they create that storm? The uh, government or something, or military? Okay, you know what? Ugh, people don't have enough to do out there. Read that Bible, okay? Make videos like me talk about it. <coughs> get you on a better path than that but to have to see to read yeah. oh and then some money got stolen that was supposed to be really sensible <laughs> wow there are people like that out there okay so anyway the best i can do is pray for all them people i know that again the regions that were actually hit uh, amazing people live there and they will help each other out they're going to make it through it just like we did here a few years ago when we had that huge flood going yes it'll happen and it's every time again just so grateful so thankful to see uh, yes that no matter what when it comes down to it just the common people will take care of each other done so that is that that's all i have to say and i said way more and i gotta get going may heavenly parent bless and protect you embrace you with love and i will talk to you all god willing tomorrow <laughs>